Hey guys, welcome to another product showcase video. Uh, today's product comes to us from Silent X, is it, and this is their compact silent CPU cooler. Okay, first up, let's have a look at the box. This is a uh, product of their Ephesio line. This is their compact silent CPU cooler, uh, 18 decibel. Quietest noise level, greatest efficiency, superior performance. Um, on the side of the box itself, we have our specifications for the unit. Uh, dimensions are 67 millimeters long, 86 millimeters wide, and 113 millimeters high and it uses a 80 millimeter fan on it. Weight on it is 296 grams. Materials are copper heat pipes and aluminum fins. The speed on the fan itself is 1200 to 2400 RPMs. Noise levels are 8 decibels to 24 decibels. Airflow is 12 CFM to 36 CFM. Voltages are 5 volt to 12 volt. Current is 0 0.20 amps and a power is 2.40 watts and this uses a fluid dynamic bearing. It uh, supports a full array of uh, all the modern processors, all of your uh, socket LGA775, 1156, 1366, all of the AMD lines from your uh, 939 up through your AM, AM2, AM2 Plus, and AM3 series. So any uh, processor that's came out in the last several years, this will support. On the back of the box, they have some information, the different decals for the different types of processors that it supports. This does come with a three-year warranty, which they display on the box. On the side of the box, we have some information about the product, as well as some pictures of it of the direct heat type, direct heat pipe um, heat sink on it. Um, these are six millimeter heat pipes that it uses on the unit. Option, optimized fan blades for the greatest air to noise ratio. So you know it's gonna come with one of your nice uh, Silent X fans with it. That's where we're getting the low decibels and a large amount of CFMs out of. And it comes with a universal mounting plate that uh, makes it easier to mount on uh, any of these modern CPUs we talked about, your AMD series or Intel series versus the push pin style. So it's a very nice colorful box, lots of information on it about the product as well as some pictures. Let's open up the box and see what all comes inside. Okay, inside the box itself we get the uh, CPU cooler of course, the uh, installation guide, explaining to you all of the different pieces that comes with it and what you'll use them for as well as information about how to mount it on uh, different types of systems, different socket types. A couple of packets of hardware. This is your uh, AMD K8, AM2, AM2+, Plus, AM3 uh, mounting brackets for it. This would be your Intel uh, LGA 775, 1156, 1366 mounting kit comes with all the uh, hardware spring mounted uh, clamps and stuff to mount it down onto the uh, motherboard itself as well as uh, some rubber anti-vibration mounts for the fans itself as, as you can see it comes with the fan already so it gives you a second set if you want to set up a push-pull configuration it comes with a fan controller that could be used internally or the cable could be run through say a PCI slot in the back and uh, used externally to control your fan speed of it. This is your universal mounting bracket. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up but on the different notches on it it explains what socket style it is. So when you go to install it you know exactly where to put your bolts in the slot depending on what kind of socket you're mounting it to. Uh, very nice uh, chrome finish on it. Very good looking. Let me set all this stuff aside and we'll take the uh, CPU cooler itself out and have a closer look. Okay, under the cooler itself, as you can see, it's very low. This is their low profile cooler. 
<coughs> excuse me, on the uh, box itself, it says designed for use in small cases where no other heat sink fits. So this is a, a perfect uh, option for a small case, a mini tower case, somewhere where you want to get rid of your uh, stock cooler that maybe came with your processor, but you want something that's got some decent cooling and moves some air, or possibly even a home theater PC, depending on the size of your case itself. You can see the uh, 80 millimeter fan itself that's mounted on it, the uh, rubber anti-vibration clips, as you can see, there are slots on the other side of the cooler for uh, adding a second fan for a push-pull configuration. The 80 millimeter fan itself has a three-pin power connector, so you can run it to your motherboard or run it to that uh, fan controller I showed you. The mounting plate itself is already attached to the cooler, so that saves you a step. You would have to pull this off if you're going to go with the AMD style. Uh, this is already set up for Intel. Uh, you can have a look at the uh, base of the unit itself. It has a beautiful polished finish on it. Uh, as you can see, it is a direct heat pipe touch design, so it's uh, going to cool very efficiently. It's going to move all the heat through the copper heat pipes right to the fins, so this should do a great job of cooling. Um, we're going to do some benchmarks on this cooler and we're going to compare it to a stock uh, Intel socket 775 cooler and uh, compare the temperatures just to see how uh, good of a job cooling it does. So first off we're going to uh, run our base temperature settings with the stock cooler. We'll see what that looks like and then we'll mount this onto the board and uh, see how much we can improve it. Okay, for our uh, temperature test, we're going to use the Gigabyte motherboard with the Intel D820 CPU running on a uh, socket LGA775 motherboard. This is the stock Intel cooler that's on here. We did install it with the uh, Silent X thermal compound to make sure it's a fair test. They'll all be using the same uh, compound, so uh, we can't say there's any unfair advantage that way. So on the base test at idle, our ambient temperature is 65 degrees Fahrenheit. We're looking at about 40 to 41 degrees on the stock cooler. Uh, we're going to start prime 95 and let this warm up for a while and see what kind of temperature it gets up to. Okay, with the uh, stock Intel cooler, uh, we've been running prime 95 on this one for a while. Uh, we're seeing temperatures around 62 to 63 degrees running uh, Prime 95 on both cores. So we're going to shut this down and switch over to the uh, Silent X cooler and uh, see what kind of temperatures we get with that. Okay, we're just uh, preparing our backing plate to get ready to mount on the motherboard and I just wanted to show you how easy this is to set up. Um, if you can see the notches themselves for the different types of CPUs, uh, there's different socket styles, I should say. Each one of the bolts itself has like two little wings in it. And uh, basically you pick where the slot is you want, like in our case 775 is all the way in. You put the uh, bolt in and you just kind of turn it a little bit and it'll fall right into the notches. And that'll help hold it in place and then you can just put a nut on to uh, hold it down. It's just that simple. And that's going to securely mount it uh, to the motherboard itself. But uh, just to give you an idea of how easy the mounting system is, it's a piece of cake to put together. You can mount one of these in probably two minutes and it's going to be a lot more secure than your push pin style mounts. So I, I think they really went the extra mile with giving you a nice backing plate large variety of hardware to fit the different socket styles. But uh, we're going to mount this on here and check the temperatures. Okay, we now have the uh, Silent X cooler installed on this machine. Uh, this is the idle temperature. I did install it with the included fan controller because I wanted to see what the difference would be from the lowest fan speed to the highest fan speed with this cooler. Right now we are running on the lowest fan speed which makes this thing whisper quiet. You can't really even hear the fan running. 
and we're seeing about uh, 41 degrees, right about what the stock Intel cooler was running on high fan. So let me uh, crank this up to high and we'll see what the idle, idle temperature is. Okay, it's now idling at uh, with the fan speed set on uh, 100%, and we're seeing a temperature of about 31 degrees, a, a 10 degree drop, just by going from the lowest fan setting to the highest fan setting, and it's still uh, very quiet for being a small 80 millimeter fan, um, so even on the high setting, it's probably still much quieter than the stock Intel fan was. Um, Let's do a load test on this and see what it does with Prime 95. Okay, we're running uh, Prime 95 on the uh, Silent X cooler. Uh, we have the fan set on the lowest setting, the Whisper setting. And uh, we're seeing a temperature of about 50 degrees. Uh, quite an improvement over the stock Intel cooler, even on the lowest fan setting. So I'm going to crank the fan up to high and see what the uh, temperatures will drop down to. Okay, with uh, both cores running at 100% on uh, Prime 95 and the fan on high on the uh, Fizio cooler, we're seeing about 45 degrees, a huge difference over the uh, stock cooling on it. Um, very nice cooler, very quiet, small, easy to put into a, a smaller case, home theater type case, uh, and a huge improvement over stock. I uh, want to remind you these temperatures are done with a single 80 millimeter fan installed on the cooler so a person could add a second 80 millimeter and probably improve even more on these scores but uh, just the way it sits with a single fan is quite impressive over a stock cooler or even some of your higher end big coolers that I've tested but uh, that's going to do it for this product showcase uh, we want to thank Silent X for providing this for our showcase. Once again, this was their Efizio Compact uh, CPU cooler. And uh, thank you for watching.